Thank you to IT Meet. Now the gymnast who first blew the whistle on the sexual abuse by Team USA Dr. Larry Nasser says that she wants law enforcement to be held accountable for bad actions. This comes after powerful testimony from four elite gymnasts. IT Team H Jasmine Minor has more from Rachel Denhollander and the specific laws that she wants in place. Hi, Jasmine. Yeah, guys. Rachel Hollander, uh, Den Hollander, is calling out what's called sovereign immunity laws, which essentially protects law enforcement from being prosecuted. Now, a former FBI special agent in charge in Indianapolis, Jay Abbott, retired from his position in 2018, and another FBI agent that failed to take action in Nazar's case was fired last week. She says not even criminal charges against them are enough, but instead a total 180 to the system in place. You might have heard this from yesterday, gut-wrenching testimony from four elite gymnasts on Wednesday reminded the world that the watchdog review recommended criminal charges against special agents for mishandling the investigation then lying about what they did what they did but federal prosecutors declined to pursue the case well Den Hollander who was the first gymnast to speak publicly on Nazar's sexual abuse is calling for the US Senate to put laws in place so that law enforcement can be brought to justice for what she says is corruption and gross negligence if a citizen were to behave, lying to the Department of Justice, lying to the FBI, lying to investigators, the same way that these FBI agents behaved, you can bet there would be grounds for criminal charges. There are grounds for criminal charges here. Whether or not we're going to make those changes is what we're gonna to have to watch in the next coming year. There's a lot of ability to do the right thing. The willingness is the question. Lawmakers on both sides joined the gymnast yesterday in questioning why the Justice Department chose not to prosecute the case. Well, Larry Nazar is serving what amounts to be a life sentence after pleading guilty to state and federal charges. I'm Jasmine Miner for Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.